हेलो एवन आई निखिल वेलकम यू टू विज्ञान भारत वी आर नाउ मूविंग अहेड इन अ रियल एनालिसिस कोर्स वी हैव ऑलरेडी कवर्ड सम लेक्चर्स ऑन एलिमेंट्री सेट थ्योरी एंड कार्डनैलिटी ऑफ सेट्स बेसिकली ऑन फाइनाइट एंड इनफाइनाइट सेट्स काउंटेबिलिटी सो आई वुड से एक्चुअल रियल एनालिसिस बिगेंस फ्रॉम दिस लेक्चर टूडे सो फ्रॉम नाउ ऑनवर्ड्स ट्राई टू attend each and every lecture and uh, try to watch the video till the end and do whatever the problems and exercises which i gave you during the lecture they are very important and will help you in building the concept and just one more information that uh, this lecture is very uh, i would say very important uh, for us uh, and that it is a 100th lecture on this channel so we are now the num- uh, this is the th- 100th video okay so let's move ahead with the today's lecture as you can see here the title of our lecture is real number system as a complete ordered field so i'll be going to introduce here today very fundamental notions which come when we study real numbers and uh, this you will going to learn in the coming lectures why i am writing it as complete here what the meaning of complete is how set of real numbers are complete okay so before moving ahead there are some prerequisites that you should know what is the meaning of a field you should know the notions of set theory finite and infinite sets so if you are watching this lecture directly you may uh, refer to the information icon uh, which is uh, which comes in the top right corner so there i have like uh, mentioned all the relevant links where you can go through these lectures okay so let's begin with the outline of today's lecture today i'm going to cover very fundamental notion of what is the law of trichotomy which ensures an order relation on the set of real numbers there uh, thereafter i'm going to discuss some important properties on the elements of the real numbers and some good results and finally some good exercises left to you for home so let's begin with a smiley okay so here comes this bold r this symbol which stand for the set of real numbers and on this set on this set basically i can apply broadly two important operations the first is the operation of addition and the second is the operation of multiplication although you can also define the operation of subtraction and the operation of division being a field r is a field but they are reduced in terms of the operations of addition and multiplication we'll going to see how okay so let me first discuss this first operation of addition and what i mean by that that if i choose any two real numbers suppose say x and y they are real number lie lie somewhere on the real number line if i apply this operation this addition between them what i'm trying to do i'm applying the operation addition between them then the answer which i get when i add x and y the answer which i get is again a real number that is an element belong to the set of a real number and this holds for every x and y which i choose i'm free to choose any x and y suppose you can choose x to be 1 y to be suppose 7.5 so if i add them then the answer is 2.5 and which is a real number okay so this holds for every x y belongs to the set of real numbers that is i would say my set r of real numbers is closed under the binary operation addition cool so now let's move ahead with the second operation similar on the similar lines you can define the multiplication for any two real numbers you can multiply them and get again a real number back now this after defining these two operations i can induce more properties on the elements of the set of real numbers just combining these two uh, operations so the on the operation of addition i can define these four properties which the elements from the set of real number preserves the first property is commutativity of addition what it says that suppose i take again i have chosen x and y to be two real numbers if i first add x to y or add y to x 
then they are same exactly. Then the resultant is same and this holds for every x, y coming from the set of real numbers. So this is, that's why this is called commutativity. Commutative, the addition operation is commutative. Here, that is the order is immaterial, whether you add x to y first or y to x first, then they both are same. Similarly, you can extend it to associative, that is for three elements, that is if you have x, y and z, suppose three elements, then if you add first x and y and add the result to z, then this is same as if you first add y and z, and then add the answer to x, then they both equal, they both coincide and this again holds for every x, y, comma, z coming from the set of real numbers. Fine. I have two more important properties and certainly they are very important for us. The third property is the existence of additive identity which is often called the zero element of the set of real numbers and is denoted by this, uh, this zero which we have. So what does zero do? If I suppose take any x from, uh, let me just make some space over here so that you can better understand it. Okay. So, now the existence of 0 means that if you add 0 to this x, then this is the result I will get my original x back whatever the real number I'm adding this this zero act as an identity you add it with any you know, real number you get the same back and this holds again for every x from the set of real numbers okay now there's one more important property that for every I will uh, write it like uh, just a second So this uh, existence of additive inverse is that suppose we have any x in R, then for every x belongs to R, there exists a unique y belongs to R where the y is nothing but additive inverse of x that is y is minus of x. Now rather than writing this, let me first introduce the property what it says that if I add this x to y then I get, get my additive identity back that is the zero element. Fine. So this here this y is nothing but minus of x. You can choose suppose x to be 1 then there exists minus of 1 belongs to the set of real numbers so that if you add 2 the resultant is 0 and which is present there. So this holds for this means there exists this holds for every x whatever the real number you pick, there exists a unique additive inverse such so that if you add them, the resultant is 0. Fine. Now, let me move ahead with the properties over multiplication. Now, again, here I have some good important properties. Let me again, I need to make some let me space for you so that you can properly understand them. I think now they are clear. Okay. So, commutativity of multiplication, we are, if you recall how we define the commutativity of addition on the similar lines, you can define the commutativity of multiplication. That is, if I choose that x, y and z be my elements coming from the set of real numbers, then x times y is same as y times x and this holds for every x, y, for every x, y, whatever two real numbers you choose, if you multiply first with second or second with verse, the answer is same. You can extend it to associativity also, x dot y and then multiply the answer with z. Then this is same as if you multiply x with the result of y and z. So this again holds for every x, y, z coming from the set of real numbers. This holds. Then there exists, this is very important third, then there exists a 1 in R which we called as the multiplicative identity. What role it play? That is such that if you multiply this 1 with any real number, then you get the real number back. So how like it, it acts as a neutral element, it just, it gives the, you perform some operation, you are multiplying it, but 
it is not there in the answer actual the real number is there so it is an identity element and this again holds for every real number finally i have the this is very important what it says that for every x in r there exist y of course we are now talking about multiplicative inverse so that exist only when my real number is not zero this should be clear inverse inverse whenever i am talking about inverses so i am talking about the non zero real numbers because the inverse of zero doesn't make any sense so let i choose x belongs to r star now this r star means what it means i am removing this zero element so x is a non zero real number you can say then for every x in now the property is for every x in this r star there exist a y in r star again and how it is such that if you multiply x with y you get the multiplicative identity back in this case y is nothing but x inverse and in use in case of real number system it is simply 1 by x for every x not zero suppose you choose x to be 2 then 1 by there exists a 1 by 2 belongs to the set of real numbers such that if you multiply 2 with 1 by 2 you get the multiplicative identity back okay now let's move ahead to the distributive property in this property now i have in this distributive property both the operations come into picture simultaneously that is both addition and multiplication will be used together to define this identity so what it says now distributive of multiplication over addition you can it can be other way around also that is if i have three real numbers x y z then this holds x the now i'm distributing my multiplication over addition that's why the addition is inside then this is same as x times y plus x times z and this is true for every x y z in r you can choose some particular values of x y z and verify all the properties so when my r satisfy all these properties it actually becomes a field these are all the properties which are required for any set with these binary operations in order to become a field so r is a field from here now i talk about something known as order relation this is a very interesting concept so try to uh, keep your focus order relation what it says is that if you recall suppose i choose any two rational numbers then you can easily compare them you can easily compare which is smaller which is larger or they may be equal also so there is certainly there is some comparison is possible between any two real numbers even so that we want to extend that notion of comparison or order from the set of rational numbers to the set of real numbers but before introducing that we have something called law of trichotomy so let's quickly understand what it says what the law says let quickly read this what i have just noted down that given any two real numbers x and y suppose i have two real numbers with me x and y are any two real numbers then exactly one of the following is true then in whatever i have written in this box only one of like there are three conditions so only one of them will going to hold either it can happen that x is smaller than y or x may be equal to y or finally x can be greater than y so if you see here we have a notion of what we are doing try to we are we are uh, in the sense between any two real numbers here we are defining an order if you see either the first is smaller than the second first is equal to the second or first is greater than the second so if this holds for any two real numbers so this law is called law of trichotomy trichotomy means tri tri means three so basically if you see now there are observa observations from here which we can make what observations i can make that 
this r the set of real numbers can be written as the union of these three sets i would say this is an interval of a set in terms of these you, you can express the interval in terms of set theory you know how to do it so my r is broadly now i have like i would say divided broadly in three type of numbers so on the first it consists of only of the real numbers which are negative they are all positive and this is zero okay so whenever you choose any uh, two real numbers they will fall in either of these three okay so now there is a note before moving ahead that this what this notation means for us uh, let me just move it up yeah now it's fine x less than equal to y means either either they are equal or one is strictly less than the other let me just stop this just a second yeah perfect so what it says that x is less than equal to y means that either they are equal or one is smaller than the other one of the condition can hold they both cannot hold simultaneously now this remark is very important for us which i have just written over here what it says that law of trichotomy this one this remark says that law of trichotomy ensures ensures an order relation that is you can define an order between any two real numbers you choose okay now these are some of the most important facts and you would you can also say the properties which are induced which we are getting by first introducing the concept of order between any two real numbers so what it says i am not going like i will not go Uh, through each and every of them because they are very elementary i left it to you an exercise to verify them by maybe choosing some particular x and y and you will be able easily able to do the first is that if here of course these x y z are all real numbers so if x is less than y and y is less than z now try to understand something these two conditions are holding simultaneously that x is less than y and y is less than z if this holds then you can say that x is less than z that the first is strictly less than the third and this in this case we say that if such a property hold then these three x y z satisfy the transitivity transitive law you must have studied while uh, studying relations okay so second third i leave, leave to you i i directly come to even fifth because they are all quite elementary so you can easily verify them this is very important for us this fifth one what it says if you choose any real number and square it that is you multiply with itself again then its answer will always be a non negative number non negative means that is something which is either positive or at ma at max it can be zero so the answer will lie somewhere over this interval i would say Zero to infinity. This zero is inclusive. This infinite interval. This six is also an important, I would say, property because if you choose a x is greater than zero, means what? That x is positive. Y is less than zero, means what? That y is negative. If you multiply a positive real number and a negative real number, the answer is ultimately a negative real number. And seventh again, I left it to you. The next slide that it is very important to verify this property. observe that they both are positive here okay so let me now move ahead the lecture here is some important exercise uh, number one exercise uh, i left it to you prove to prove uh, left uh, to you to prove this okay what it says that suppose i have any two real numbers x and y which satisfy this condition what they satisfy that they both are positive and there is an order between them that x is 
less than y this condition hold then if this is given to us then this will hold always you can verify this when we're going to study uh, this comes an in inequality i would say this am is always greater than gm here am is arithmetic mean of suppose any two numbers gm is geometric mean so you can uh, like this inequality hold always even you can extend it to any num any finite number of real numbers you can this will hold so it's induced from this inequality so try to verify this okay before now this is very important and result for us today before like moving in the coming lectures we'll be going to use this in various uh, occasions when we will going to prove some good important theorems so try to understand this result what it says that if this a is a real number and is such how this a is defined that is satisfy this condition that a is non negative and of course it less than epsilon where this condition is true for every epsilon positive try to understand this one very this is very important that this expression this whatever i have written here this holds for every epsilon whatever how small epsilon you choose this how epsilon is a very small positive quantity in context of real analysis so whatever small number you choose how small maybe and if there is a real number which is strictly less than that epsilon then the only choice for that a i have is that a can be a has to be the real number zero so let's try to prove this i'm going to prove this using the method of contradiction so what we are uh, what we are given that a is greater than or equal to 0 is still as an epsilon for every epsilon then i have to prove that a equals 0 so let me assume on the opposite let me assume let me make some space yeah let me assume that a is a is a non zero and of course i assume that a is positive what i assume that a is not equal to 0 a is positive that i assume i am free to choose my epsilon this a is positive i can write it like this even if you see if i choose my epsilon i am free to choose epsilon as e any arbitrary positive quantity so if i choose my epsilon to be a by 2 now if you observe here because a is positive so certainly a by 2 is safely less than a and a is positive so a by 2 is all is also positive you see let me just uh, do it again for you i hope till here it's clear to you that epsilon uh, but i have chosen in such a way that my epsilon is strictly less than a but if this is true then the given hypothesis is false what the given hypothesis was that my epsilon is always greater than a but i have found an epsilon some particular epsilon suppose let me call it epsilon east epsilon star or maybe epsilon 1 whatever you want to choose so i have found an epsilon which is strictly less than my given quantity a so this violates this expression and why it is violating because like i am getting a contradiction to the given hypothesis now if you see and why this contradiction is coming because of my wrong assumption that a is positive so from here what i concluded what i conclude therefore the only choice of a is zero how small positive a you choose but this will fail automatically because i am in a situation to choose again an epsilon which is smaller than that and which contradicts the given hypothesis so i hope you understand understand this proof and uh, you understand all these Results and properties which we do did today. So if you have any doubt anywhere, you can either drop me comment in the comment box, and uh, if you are new to our channel, then I would suggest you to please do subscribe to our channel. And if you you should you should check the content on our channel and go through it once. Whatever the linear uh, the real analysis playlist we have created, and also some good important stuff uh, relevant might be relevant to you. So do check that. Uh, content and uh, 
there are some good important uh, relevant links we, which you can find in the about section of our channel like our telegram group where we have a good community of students uh, who are uh, there and you can if you have like any doubts anywhere so you can discuss it your doubts there by joining our telegram group whose link you can find in the comment uh, in the description of this video as well as in the about section and if you find this video to be useful then do give us a like and if possible then also do share about our initiative among your friends so that they can also be equally benefited so thank you so much for watching and we'll be coming ahead with an interesting video thank you so much